So ladies and gentlemen, today is a very important occasion where we will acknowledge and witness the graduating graduates, graduating of 29 students and the other students who are graduated with two other qualifications. I believe this is a moment that the students and the parents and of course the stakeholders, particularly Ministry of Agriculture, we have been waiting for. And the graduating students today, you are joined by your parents, the stakeholders, the staff, who are all looking forward to the fruits of their labor. Today, the leadership of the uh, institute will be handing over certificates to graduates who will be leading the growth and development of agriculture sector in the near future. Ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 has clearly demonstrated to us the importance of agriculture in, in case someone or some people had doubts about its role in the Fijian economy. It was the only sector that was not affected by COVID-19. And a sector which was the hope for all the people in the country of food security and economic viability. While other sectors came to a standstill, agriculture continued to grow. And we at the Ministry of Agriculture, we mobilized even the urban households to engage in production. We took advantage of the crisis in the external markets and pushed for exports of our produce. In 2020, non-sugar agriculture exports continued to grow despite the pandemic, achieving for the first time ever $106 million worth of exports, surpassing the traditional sugar sector. In 2021, the non-sugar agricultural exports further grew to $121.3 million. This indicates to us the enormous potential in this sector and the bright future that those who are engaged in agriculture can have. The increased exports means a lot to the country. Most of the receipts are transferred back to the rural farm households, implying increased farm household income, increased income of landowners, laborers who are engaged in the sector, and progressive improvement of rural economy and livelihood of rural households. But ladies and gentlemen, students, we have now entered a new era as far as agriculture is concerned. Those who had doubts about its role in the economy have now understood how important agriculture is. Those who are only harping about importance of tourism, importance of small manufacturing sector are now acknowledging and nodding that yes, agriculture has been an important sector, is an important sector, and will continue to play an important sector, not because, not because it, it is an alternative, but it is because we, Fiji, has a strategic advantage in this sector. We, Fiji, has a brand image in outside market with regard to the commodities that we're exporting. We, Fiji, have the key, the most important factor of production, land, in large amount. And at the moment, most of it unutilized. Now, some people may have this misunderstanding and misnomer that the land that we have in large amounts are not A-grade land or not the top quality land. I think it's a misnomer, it's a misunderstanding. <coughs> because if you look at all those land which is now high grade, it was in that form before. It has been converted into a grade by working hard, by improving land clearing, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now for the first time treating agriculture as a profession. All along, agriculture was seen as a sector of those 
who were not able to excel in the formal sector, let's say, you know, as a, as a counter, as a teacher, or as a doctor, as a business person. But for the first time now, increasingly, people are seeing agriculture as a profession of equal footing, as an opportunity to do business. You too can have better houses. You too can have high quality house. You too can buy properties and invest in other sectors of the economy. You too can have pension as those of us who are working in the formal sector. Your journey to become a successful agricultural entrepreneur begins now and I wish to urge you to think on the following if you want to be successful, if you wish to be successful. You need to conduct yourself not as a farmer but as an agricultural entrepreneur. From day one, you must see yourself as an agricultural entrepreneur, as an agricultural business person, businessmen, businesswomen. You're not just a farmer. You need to treat agriculture as a business. So you are an agricultural entrepreneur. Treat your agriculture business as a full-time profession, just like someone in the area of teaching, a teacher, let's say, wakes up early in the morning, prepares the breakfast, prepares the children, then goes to work, let's say leaves the house at 7 a.m. or 6.30, comes back at 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. You need to treat agriculture, your business, in the same manner. You can't say, okay, today it's okay, maybe tomorrow I'll go to the farm, today I'm gonna go and visit some family members, etc. Then only you can say that this is a profession, a business. You need to be very prudent on farm management and financial skills. That only you can be successful as an agricultural business person. You need to keep the farm records in detail. You need to ensure that you save and invest. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the key strategic priority areas of the Ministry of Agriculture's five-year strategic development plan is the establishment and development of commercial agriculture. To achieve this, the sector needs to produce qualified young farmers, competency-based, who should be willing to expand the agriculture business and grow beyond. For that reason, I'm grateful to the management and staff of NATI for today's event and preparing these young graduates. You need to think big. You need to dream big. That is how. You need to think where you want to be from day one, when you go back after the graduation ceremony, meet your family members there, your villages, etc. there will be a reception. Then immediately you need to map out where you want to be in five years' time, 10 years' time, 15 years' time, 20 years' time. Along with it, the dreams of the other members of Matangali would be attached, family and village in Matangali. Because you won't be growing, you're growing will also lead to growing of the entire village. Therein, I'm asking in that, that the Matangali, the village members must support, because you growing will also allow them to grow. So you need to think big, that that's where you want to be in 15 years time, and start small and gradually strategize, plan to get there. Very important that you must have a plan and a strategy to get there. So ladies and gentlemen, Today, I would like to congratulate each and every graduate. I want to assure on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture that we will continue to support NATI and we will not forget you as you graduate from here. Today, with your new qualification, you will be working in the agriculture sector. And I would encourage you get to know the sector better, its demands and what it expects from you. So learning shouldn't stop here. Continue to learn more about the sector through the Ministry of Agriculture and strategic priorities. Today we are providing you with a small package of tools and necessary materials to help you start up your agricultural venture. But in the next financial year, we will be advertising in August 
close to 15 programs, 15 programs for farmers to give them the leverage to move into commercial agriculture. These 15 programs will include, but not limited to, let's say, fencing material package, goat and sheep shed package, irrigation package, land clearing support, nurseries package, hydroponics setup, two-third contribution towards purchase of small equipment, let's say rotovator, stockyard construction, pig repair material package. We want all of you, the 29 of you, to put in your application in terms of preference, first preference, second preference, third preference. All 29 of you will be provided with one package. Either, depends on which area you go, you get into crop agriculture, you may need a nursery uh, package, you may, uh, need, you may go into horticulture you, and you may need an irrigation set, complete irrigation set, or you would want to have a hydroponics set, you are close to a hotel, uh, your farm, or you may, or you are into pigree venture, and we we want a, um, you know, materials to to construct a pigree uh, pigri pen, or you are into beef cattle farming, and you want fencing material, or you already have a beef cattle farm, you have fencing material, you want to construct a stockyard. So, all of you, all of you will be provided one package. We just want you to follow the process, put in your application. I want to wish to inform Nati Head principal, that this practice of providing this support package to the graduating students will and should continue even in my absence because this is young farmers, young entrepreneurs that who will be pushing agriculture in the future, who will be replacing the aging farmers. So this should continue in the ministry and I will make it a policy that it will continue. <laughs> Amen.